Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Sweets Farm. I'm Rich. Just put out our garden video the other day and had a bunch of emails. Rich, what are, what are these mounds? Why, you do, uh, why do you do what you do? Um, and I wanted to explain why I do it, how we do it, and the benefits that I see um, for, for the different things. This is for melons, squash, pumpkins. Um, we've got heavy clay soil um, and we're located in Minnesota. You, look, you read your seed packet, um, so after danger of frost. We're always playing with frost at the beginning and the end of the season. Temperature is important to melons, squash, pumpkins. Um, and also, seedlings will emerge in 10 to 14 days. Okay, that's a good, good rule of thumb, and I can prove whether this works or not. Um, what I've done in my clay soil is I've dug down underneath here to start. First, I got rid of the weeds around so I can build my perimeter, um, and I'll continue doing that. But I amended the soil underneath with compost, uh, dug it up, loosened it up. Then I put um, a thin layer, probably two inches of topsoil, um, and on top of that, then I put composted manure. Again, another two inches. I've got a nice flat plateau, and then it drops off. If you make a big mound, you're going to water and the water's just going to run off. Keeping it nice and flat um, lets it soak in. I can sit and water and water and it just keeps flowing down. Um, I never have a problem. So what it's doing is allowing that water to, to move away. Nothing worse for melons, pumpkins, squash than having totally wet feet. Just soaked feet, they're going to rot and die. Um, so it lets it drain, but it also heats it up. You know, it says after the, after the danger of frost is gone, you know what, I've come out here and it holds the heat at night uh, a lot better. My result, uh, and I'm about a month behind, so I'll, I'll say that that plays into it. It's warm out here. This soil heated up really well. 10 to 14 days for uh, acorn squash. I planted these on July 2nd. July 6th, they were already up. So it, the heat, uh, really helps them out, but the drainage is so important. Um, now, do you want to do a mound? If you've got heavy clay soil, I would recommend it. it, it it's the same thing if you're using a raised bed. Um, for some of my areas, I've made a, a raised mound in a long uh, area so I can plant seeds and they can grow in different directions. These are all going to grow and they're going to head out in, in different directions. If you've got sandy soil, this will not work. If you've got really quick draining, sandy, dry soil, I would still say amend the soil, but do it below ground and even build a trench around it to pull the water in um, and the water will flow into those trenches and then down to the roots. Um, and you can mulch over the top of that uh, to help preserve water. I don't have that problem. This rich clay soil, it holds and I don't want any rotting uh, roots down there. I want to keep these girls growing and uh, have some great pumpkins. I want to have some great acorn squash by the end of the year. Um, I would really, really recommend this. Um, it's simple. It's a couple of bags of composted manure. It's a, you know, a, a, I don't know, a couple of cubic feet of uh, compost that I've had in the compost pile from the girls dug in underneath. Um, some topsoil. It doesn't take a lot. Just make sure it's big enough. It's flat enough to hold your water on top so it's not just running off. Um, and then wait till it warms up. You're going to have some success with your melons and pumpkins and squash. Um, if I miss something, uh, drop a note below. But I wanted to, uh, we had so many questions about it, I wanted to let you know why we do what we do. Why we've got our little mounds out here in the garden. So. Hope this is helpful. Uh, it helps you uh, have some success with your melons and pumpkins and squash. I know we're going to have some success with these this year. They're, uh, they're rocking right now. Even though we're a month behind, we're going to have a great harvest this year. So thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.